Hello, uh, this is Falterfire again. Uh, I, this is a follow-up to a couple other videos. If you have not seen either the run that I did with this deck, or if you didn't see the initial discussion of the design of this Jazz Hands deck, uh, then this may not make as much sense, but I will have links to those in the description. This video should be fairly short. Uh, I am just going to talk over some of the things that I took away from that run I did and make some changes to this deck based on how that run went. So the first thing I wanted to do was look at changing the starter deck a little bit. So the Resolute Focuses were not bad, but I wasn't happy with the number of times where playing them put me in an awkward position where I either had to put... Um, Play cards I didn't necessarily want to play in order to get the mana back or where I just outright couldn't play them at all to get mana because I just didn't have the skills. So instead, I'm going to remove these and I'm going to put in, actually after thinking about it, Gambler's Focus. And the reason why is that the deck still wants a lot of mana and with Chilling Focus only producing uh, two mana, I want to be able to get more than that for my other mana card. And Gambler's Focus on average produces three mana. Yes, one out of three times it will produce less than Resolute Focus. But when other times it'll produce more than Resolute Focus. And on average, Gambler's Focus is basically a Resolute Focus where you trade having control over uh, how much mana you get for just always getting at least two mana. And I think that guarantee of getting mana is more valuable than, uh, the, possi than the possibility of locking in exactly three. Um, in exchange for having to deal with the timing loopholes. So that's one change. The other change here, uh, we didn't have any issues actually with getting the things frozen, so I am going to swap these Magic Blasts for Pierces. Um, the other thing is that I believe uh, that the 30% additional damage to frozen enemies, this will go to 13. I think this actually should go to 11 plus 11 is 22. Uh, which is, uh, I, I believe that, that that effect rounds up, that any time you get a buff that ends the percentage value that it rounds up, but I could be wrong. Um, either way, if it does round up though, the fact that it would then go from being 10 versus 16 to, or 13, for being 10 versus uh, 16, which is plus six to 13 versus uh, 22, which is plus nine. At that point, I think the pierce is definitely worth it. Uh, the other thing is this, this takes away two stacks of evasion, which isn't relevant. And like I said, we just didn't seem to have problems with freezing things. So I'm happy with that change. The invigorate, I think, is uh, did fine. I don't think that I want to remove that. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with the ice blasts. I'm definitely happy with the visions of frost and the meditates. Being able to guarantee the lock-in adept is nice. Uh, Visions of Frost being Frost that also gives Adept and Mighty is, is great. Infused did good work. The, the, the deck is, as a whole I like aside from those changes. The Resolute Focuses for the Gambler's Focuses and the Magic Blasts for the Pierces. So looking at the card pool, um, we didn't see Madden Eruption. We wished we had. That would have been very good for us. Uh, we saw Runic Focus. Uh, or we didn't see Runic Focus. We would have, or I think that it showed up as an option, but we didn't take it. Uh, it. It only showed up in places where we were offered other things we wanted more. I think I do want at least one more mana card in the pool. Um, and Predator's Focus is fairly easy to trip and gives us that extra two mana. So I think that's that's our card there. Um, so the other mana cards, I'm happy with Cultivate. I'm happy with Mind Seed. I'm happy with Running Focus. I'm happy with Icy Concentration. I'm happy with Chilling Focus. Power Surge did good work, even if we, we were obviously doing some serious shenanigans with it, but I think I would have been happy with it regardless, thanks to um, just how much getting that extra powerful helps with all the stuff we're doing. Uh, Icy Chains, likewise, uh, it the fact that it's only one mana helps a lot. Applying Weak doesn't matter that much, didn't matter that much in that last fight, but the fact that it was applying um, often very large amounts of Frost was relevant. Uh, Arcane Bolt, we passed up in the one time it was offered, um, but I'm still fine with it. Read the ice, uh, again, like we were only offered it when we 
had other choices that I liked more. The Empower and the Dispel Magic, obviously both of those did very good work. The Brainstorm did good work. The Surprise Attack we didn't see. Spirit Helm though. Spirit Helm is a card I think I am going to cut. It's interesting that, I don't know why this sorts the way it does, um, that this isn't alphabetical by cost. It's not really important. Um, but I'm gonna cut the Spirit Helm, uh, which, because I've already added a card that puts us back at exactly 30. Um, the Regrowth uh, was a card that I was testing and it absolutely paid off. I think that uh, I was underrating it before. It does functionally let you double. It, it is like a miniature version of the uh, Trinket, that, the, the Duplication Tome, and Duplication Tome is very good, and Regrowth can functionally double mana. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful in how you play it, um, but it's when I'm not being clumsy and misplaying cards, it is just incredibly good. Uh, the base version isn't amazing, but the Regrowth Plus is such good value uh, that I think it's worthwhile. Cleansing Shield did good work. Blessed Strike did good work. The Purity and the Debuff Removal, uh, both very valuable things. Introspection, uh, we didn't see. It's still card draw. I, I, I think I still like it. Uh, if I remove it, it would just be to swap in a different card draw option. Um, one of the things with evaluating decks after the fact is that, um, you know, we have these one, two, three, four, five, six mana cards. Um, six times, or not six times. So we have 21 cards in the pool. We get two options each time. So that is a, let me do some math real quick. Uh, I'm going to pull up Wolfram Alpha in another window so you won't actually be able to see this on the video but trying to calculate real quickly the odds that you would see at least one of the mana cards with six so that would be 15 over 21 times 14 over 20 so oh conveniently it is an exactly one half chance that any given with six mana cards there's an exactly one in two chance that you will see at least one mana card um, between the two options because there is a uh, there's an equal chance of seeing any of the cards in the card pool 15 of them so it's a 15 out of 21 chance for the first one to not be mana and then a 14 out of 20 chance if the first one isn't mana that the second one will also not be one of your mana cards uh, so that does conveniently go to exactly one half so i think that should be I, I think to me that says that, that if I have mana problems, that's more bad luck than it is a sign that uh, the deck doesn't have enough mana at that point. So I think I'm happy with that much mana. So looking at other cards, Introspection. Uh, with that in mind, I think Introspection is fine. Ada Storm obviously did good work. Charged Shield, we were offered it and we never took it. I think if we had seen it in Area 2, or if, if we had gotten the plus status per card played outfit sooner, we probably would have taken it. Uh, so I'm not going to give up on it yet, especially because I just cut another shield card. Mind Blast obviously did stellar work. Frostwave did solid work. Curse Conjunction we ended up not taking, uh, but that was largely because we were having mana problems. Uh, Contemplate likewise. Uh, Arcane Visions did good work. Arcane Nova, there were several fights we wished we had it and we just didn't. Uh, Elemental Conflux we didn't get. Mana Barrier we didn't get. Singularity I think we were offered at one point, but we just didn't have the mana engine working during that run. So I think so. the, the only changes here were I moved in Predator's Focus and I moved out the, uh, the Growth Shield, whatever it's called, um, Spirit Helm. I think that was the only change I made here, and I think I am now happy with that. So that's all the changes that I am making to that deck. I will, uh, so if anybody is unaware, the way that you import and export decks, if you press this button, copy your list to the clipboard, and then if you have a deck already on your clipboard, so let's say that you had wanted to add a new deck, you can press that button and uh, it will go ahead and automatically copy the whole deck. I'm going to delete the copy, of course. Okay. so. That is what I have learned. Bye.